it's Savannah and today I figured I would do a tag haul video because it is raining outside and I like watching tag haul videos. I like to see what other people get. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm nosy. If you know me personally, I'm very nosy. So I just like to see what other people have. So I figured I would start out with some shirts I got. This is a shirt from Horseplay Apparel. It's like this cute little spring tee. It's a cute little peach color. Um, and it has their, it's a v-neck and it has their little emblem, their little logo on it. So I thought that was a cute little find. And then this is their, their slouchy v-neck. Um, this is a large, okay. I like, I like loose fitting t-shirts. So this is a large and I think it fits me a little bit big, but I'm okay with it. And their slouchies come big. So this is actually small. The torso is really short. Not really short. I mean, look, it's kind of short, but it's not super short. Um, but I have a short torso, so it works out. I like all my t-shirts to fit about like this one, so I'll kind of like go up and down in size to kind of keep that feel going. And this is another shirt they make, and it's super funny because, well, let me say it's punny. Huh. Get it? Fucking go nuts. Can you know horses? They fucking go nuts. And you know, fucking go nuts. I thought it was punny, so I got it. I'm a sucker. Here's the back. <laughs> um, the medium fits a bit like a small to me. Uh, I don't think, if you like your t-shirts a little tighter fitting, great. But if you like them fitting like this, I would totally recommend a large in this shirt. I got a medium. I'm still going to wear it because it's so freaking funny. So why not? Next, I have these cool little towels. Look, and this one says muddle, and this one says boots. So, and they have these cool little clips on them, you know, so you can like clip them to your, your grooming tote. And when you go to shows, when your groom, or in my case, your mom, <laughs> wipes off your, your uh, horse's muzzle, all that slobber off their muzzle, and all that dust off your um, boots, you have designated towels because I actually have had slobber wiped all over my boots before on this accident, but it happens. But with these, it's labeled and they're cute. It's got their cute little little logo on it so I'm excited to be able to use that in a few weeks and next I got these heritage are these heritage yeah heritage cross-country gloves I got them on sale all about the sales because I have no money so I'm needing some new gloves my other gloves are about to die I'm just have these ready to go as soon as the other ones die I got these, these are like $40, $39.95. I got them for $12 at the tax store because they were on the sale and I have like ridiculously huge hands. So of course, you know, I'm gonna pick them up. And then I got this stud chain. I feel like it's something you should just have in your trailer for you or for someone else. I don't really have a horse right now that will need a stud chain, but you know, Navi, when she gets a little older and has to like start going places and you know, just in case, you don't need to have this because you know other people may need it and not have it and you're like, here, I got you, just use this. And then another thing I got was some Sorno More Performance Liniment, it has a little sprayer and you can just spray on your horse's back, its legs, it's already like pre-diluted, like you know, like a Vetrolin or an absorbing liniment, you like actually have to dilute it, it's already like kind of pre-diluted and you just like spray it on there. And then I got some new spur straps because in their dressage world, nobody likes bling, but I do. So I got these cute little spur straps with like, well, got these little like, um, I think they're called like Greek crosses on them. So I thought these were cute. And then I got these little, these little punk studs, which I thought were cute. Will not wear these to a show because you can see me get in trouble for that. Um, by my trainer, not really by the judge. I'm sure they don't care. Um, and then next, I have a pair of leather side reins for Betty. These are like full leather, like there's no elastic or donut or anything on them, and it's for school horses um, because the leather like does have stretch in it. So this is not for a young horse. This is for a horse that like knows what collection is and knows how to like use himself. And then. For Navi, because I'm already gonna start collecting stuff for her, because that way when she's ready to start on her saddle, we'll have everything. I have the donut side reins, yeah, and they just stretch right here on the donut, 
and this patches to fit, and this attaches to the girth, and it just does like this. And so I have these, and I won't even be able to use them until like three years from now. <laughs> so I am junkie, jumping on the back on track uh, train, pretty much. So I have these these pillows to christen me into the back, tra back on track realm. So I'm going to totally give their stuff a go. I have an older horse, okay? My horse is 20, and she's like showing third, doing fourth level dressage. So anything that keeps her from getting sore, I am all about it. Moving on, here I have a, I've already put a bit on it because I have used it once or twice. Um, a double bridle. This is a um, Bobby's tack, which a lot of fox hunters use. Um, there goes like without the reins and the curve. I, yeah. So it's a Bobby's tack. I really like it so far. It took a little while to break in still, but, and then this is the curve bit to it, and I don't have a snaffle on it. And I also, so this bitch is like 30 years old. And my trainer was like, I got it from Dressage Extensions. It's their, it's their bit. You know, it's the only bit they sell. It's their, curve, it's their, like their brand curve bit. So like, this is it. And I bought their. Look at the, look at the port. That's like lots of, lots of tongue relief. Like no tongue relief. And it's like supposedly the same one. It's not. So if you have any, if anyone has any nice like curve bits for double bridles that have a lot of like relief right here please hit me up so I have some KK or her springer whatever you want to call them German silver uh, burdoons and so what a burdoon is is it just goes on double bridle and all it is is just this little ring is like significantly smaller than a normal ring I don't have a normal bit in here so I can't really show you but anyways so I have these to try with my double um because I've been riding her in her normal snaffle but it's time to like put a Bredoon on there and I'm getting tired of having to switch the bit out because I'm lazy. So I've got a KK Ultra and then just like a KK like French Link and then what is it the Lozenge or something like that right here. I'll probably end up going with this one if she likes it because she picky. Um, moving on. So I was on Tack Trader which I I got a PayPal and I'm on Tack Trader all the time which is like a huge mistake because I'm spending money. But anyways, so I got these nice little um, shirts. I've already worn this one to ride in, but I have like these nice little shirts to use just for like fox hunting, like rat catcher, or if I like go to a clinic and it's kind of cold and I want to wear a long sleeve cotton. And so this is a double and the other one was a tough rider, but I just like the, you know, it's hard to find good quality like cotton shirts like this. And so when I found these, I was like, heck yeah, I want to. So, and this purchase, I was so excited about. Like, I was just over the moon about it. So this is the Ariat Platinum Performance, Platinum something, Shoko, it's Shoko basically. And they're supposed to be like super fitted, and so it has this like su secret, super secret stretch panel here. So I have like really wide shoulders. I'm like a football player, I don't know. I got some shoulders. And so these, this thing is so awesome because it's got this stretch panel that you can't see. So like you can move your shoulders around. So I always had the trouble with, like I have to get show coats that are way too big just so I can compensate for my shoulders. Cause I mean, it's important to be able to move your shoulders. So I'd rather compromise the way I look to be able to move my shoulders at a show. So I got this and so now I can look now and I can move my shoulders. And it's just a win-win. It's so exciting. So, moving on furthermore. Saddle pads. You always gotta get saddle pads. I haven't even taken these things out of the wrapper. I got a few more, but I figured I wouldn't bring them because they were dirty now. So, so I have these, these, and they're just like your basic, what is it? Talklet? Talklet? I'm probably, I'm probably saying this so wrong. But this is, it's just got like the white pad with piping fancy piping so let me get like my initials put on it or something and then I got another green I had to get all the greens because green is my favorite so this is like a hunter bluey green and then I got this professional's choice pad it's like the patent leather with the bedazzles I don't know if you can see it with the bedazzles going on right here um it's just this their square pad 
probably won't put this on Betty because it's a little too flashy and I try not to draw attention to her because she is not a flashy horse. She's just so but Navi Yeah, Navi will be sporting this probably her first show because she'll be fabulous. So that's pretty much all I have for today. Fun little tech haul, my little shopping sprees. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure, if you have any questions about any of the tack I got, be sure to ask in the comments below. I'll link the horseplay apparel, um, I'll link the horseplay apparel website below as well as their Instagram and I have a cool little coupon code I can give you for you to get 10% off because who doesn't like money? I mean, I love money. I love to save money, obviously, because I bought cross country gloves. Um, <laughs> so be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video. Be sure to click that little bell if you want to see more videos I'm coming out with soon. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.